Special thanks to Patreon supporter Brick Bros 2016 for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, scare 2 for here bringing you another Minecraft World War 2 vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Bristol Blenheim, specifically the Mark 1 variant. This was a British light bomber aircraft designed and built by Bristol Aeroplane Company, which was used extensively in the first two years and in some cases throughout the Second World War. The aircraft was developed as the Type 142, a civil airliner in response to a challenge from Lord Rothermere to produce the fastest commercial aircraft in Europe. The Type 142 first flew in April 1935 and the Air Ministry, impressed by its performance, ordered a modified design as the Type 142M for the Royal Air Force as a bomber. Deliveries of the newly named uh, Blenheim to the RAF squadrons commenced on the 10th of March 1934 and uh, the aircraft was retired in 1944. Uh, the Mark 1 specifically was the kind of first variant of it. Uh, later on, the Mark 4s and stuff expanded upon it and created a, had like a longer nose for it. It also uh, was equipped with more guns and everything like that. So uh, the first kind of version was just a very rudimentary bomber and later versions kind of became more specialized as kind of more of a long-range fighter um, or patrol aircraft with uh, more weaponry and uh, better defensive capabilities. Um, anyways, the uh, Blenheim, pretty cool uh, aircraft, and it's been a while since we've done a British one. I think the last one we did was the Lancaster, which was quite a while ago, so it's nice to get another um, British aircraft into our World War II lineup and um, all that fun stuff. Now, before we go and take a look at the aircraft itself, I want to go and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter uh, Brick Bros 2016 for uh, basically uh, sponsoring this video. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to head over to my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you guys can go ahead and uh, check out my page. There's some cool benefits for supporting the channel by uh, giving a small monthly donation of your choosing. Um, so feel free to check it out, and if you guys are interested, uh, become a Patreon and uh, earn some cool rewards out of it. I really do appreciate all my Patreons, especially with, uh, you know, YouTube and uh, ad revenue definitely not being what it used to be. Um, you know, it definitely helps me out. So, hope you guys, um, you know, check it out and uh, enjoy the build. So, anyways, take a look at the aircraft itself. It's uh, overall pretty cool, and uh, maybe later on we'll be doing the different variants. But this is the first version, the Mark I version. Um, Though I do think the Mark IV is kind of weird with the extended nose, but that's just me. Go ahead and take a look at it. It's obviously a two-engine prop plane. Um, very kind of reminiscent of a heavy fighter, very uh, kind of similar to the you know B-25 we just did recently, the two prop um, engines. Uh, we do have a camouflage for it, so it's kind of got a green and brown kind of mixed camouflage with a black colored underbelly. Um, I saw a camouflage for it and I thought it looked really cool. I like the black kind of underbelly. It looks pretty cool. Um, continuing on, uh, we have obviously the front up here, which was a very pain in the butt part to actually uh, represent. Uh, if you look at pictures of the Blenheim, the, especially the Mark 1 version, it has a very kind of like, I don't know, pointed, I guess, window. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's weird. It's not like a nice smooth curve. It's kind of like at an angle pointed and uh, kind of works its way up. So it's very difficult to represent, but I think it came out uh, all right for the front there. And I believe that's where the bombardier hand pilot. I don't know if this is, has a co-pilot, can't remember offhand, but um, pilot or co-pilot would be positioned. Uh, continuing on, we have obviously the wings here. Uh, we have the um, ailerons on the sides here, the uh, flaps, which were kind of hidden away underneath the uh, wing itself, um, kind of like that British design where you only really prominently see the ailerons um, up on top. Uh, we have the uh, back kind of like a dorsal um, turret, uh, turret here and it's only got one machine gun on it. Later versions of the Blenheim actually had two. So this is a, the Mark 1 version so it's a little bit rudimentary again. Only one um, machine gun on there. I think it was a 7.7 .7, so nothing, nothing really good in, in terms of defense. On the side, we have uh, the my attempt to make an RAF logo with, with banners. It didn't come out the greatest, but it was an attempt. Attempt was made. I tried, and um, all that stuff. And we also have a little example here, which you can do with lettering. And I'll be linking a tutorial down in the description where you guys can go and use uh, like a banner tutorial to make these um, awesome letters. Um, so you can put like, your own little designations on the sides there. Um, then we have the back tail. Um, nothing too fancy about this. Uh, the vertical stabilizer. 
and the rudder, um, elevators, and stabilizers. Um, so all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty much uh, the Blenheim in a nutshell. Uh, pretty cool little build. And again, in our British fighter, we can or British uh, aircraft, I should say, we can line, add to our lineup. Uh, which has been a long time since uh, doing the Arvo Lancaster over there. So, hope you guys do enjoy the build. Without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, which is going to be, I believe, it's going to technically be layer two. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, so, let's go and move on to our first layer. Alrighty, guys. So, going ahead and moving on to our first layer, we start off with layer three. We'll be covering layers one and two shortly um, after we complete this layer, but layer three is a good layer to start with. It gives us a nice general idea for the shape of the aircraft and a nice basis to work upon and add on to the uh, next uh, few layers. So uh, what we want to do to uh, go ahead and get started is obviously start off with our front here. Nice thing about the Blenheim is that the front, as you can see right here, is pretty much exactly where the front is right there. So if you look at dimensions for it, trying to fit this in an area, uh, you just know that this is the very um, front point right there. Um, also, I forgot to clarify in the beginning of the video, this is the only this is a tutorial only for the airborne version. I do not have a landed version of this thing design, designed yet, as it does land at a slant, so I would have to completely just redesign the aircraft. So there is no uh, tutorial for a landed version currently for it. Um, however, possibly one will be coming in the future. Um, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Also, if you're new to my tutorials, um, I do half on camera, half off. I'll do the whole right side on camera along with the center line, and then it's up to you guys to copy the right side over to the left side. And everything like that if you guys are new to my tutorial so start off with we're gonna place down another brick top side this is gonna be the very front nose of your aircraft you can see it located right there that's the block right there that we're placing another brick top side like that after that top side we're gonna place down a uh, light gray stained glass full block followed by a second one after it after that we're gonna go ahead and continue down our center line here we're gonna place down a total of um, uh, let me see here for the count real quick uh, a total of 11 black wool blocks back so again you have 11 black wool blocks back from those two light gray stained glass blocks like that after that we're going to place down a total of four nether brick top stabs after that row of 11 of black wool and that's going to do it there for the middle line now we're going to go and work, work on the right side so whatever we do on this right side here you're going to copy over to the left side in between the layers to go ahead and get started we're going to place down a nether brick top stab coming off this uh, light gray stained glass full block over here again on the right side you're going to do it on both sides again but just we're going to do it on the right side for this tutorial uh, we're then going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 black wool blocks back. We then want to go ahead and take our nether brick stairs. We're going to place down one in, um, we're going to place down one nether brick upside down stair, followed by another nether brick upside down stair after it. That's a corner stair. And then we're going to place down a nether brick top slab after that. So you get something that kind of looks like this from the side there. After that's all finished right there, we then want to go ahead and uh, grab ourselves some iron uh, trap doors we're going to go to this first upside down arabic stair here kind of more toward the mid line of the aircraft we're going to place down a row of one two and three of iron trap doors so one iron trap door on this upside down arabic stair and uh two iron trap doors come out those two black wool blocks like that after that's all done there we're going to place down a row two of iron trap doors come off those two right there so you have a little bit of an indent from the back here we then want to go ahead and place down a row of three of iron trap doors so it's going to kind of go up here toward the front um, so you can kind of see a little bit of a slanted pattern going on there. After that's finished there, we're going to go ahead and take our uh, iron trap doors again. Place down a row of three. Come off this row of three exactly how it is right there. After that's all finished right there, we want to go ahead and uh, place down a uh, iron trap door. Come off this one right here. Like this. So you have this, em this kind of empty space of two right here. And in this space, we are going to go ahead and place down a nether brick top slab. Followed by a nether brick upside down stair coming off the top slab. After that's all complete there, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves black wool. We're going to place down a black wool block on the back of this nether brick stair. We're also going to go ahead and go to the inside of the aircraft. The next is black wool block. We're going to place down a nether brick, um, a nether brick top set right next to it like so. After that, we're going to place down a upside down nether brick stair that's coming off this uh, black wool block. So it's going to kind of be facing it like so. And we want to go ahead and place down a sign here on both sides of that nether brick upside down stair. We're also going to go in after that nether brick stair, we're going to take our black wool blocks. We're going to place down two, or sorry, my bad, three black wool blocks going toward the front. We're then going to grab ourselves a nether brick, or sorry, a spruce slab, place down a spruce wood slab, followed by a spruce wood stair that's going to be on both sides of this spruce slab. We also want to grab ourselves a sign, and we're going to place down, um, actually, my bad, real quick before we place down the sign, we want to go and actually grab ourselves some nether brick stairs. We're going to place down a row of three of nether brick stairs going back from this spruce wood stair and a sign on the middle. Nether brick stair like that. 
We're going to do the same thing over here on this side. One, two, and three back. And assign on the side of that narrow brick stair like so. After it's all finished, we're then going to place down narrow brick tops up. Come off this black wool block. It's going to be basically the same thing there on both sides like that. After we have that done, we're going to go back from this slab uh, to iron trap door. So one and two back just like that. So you get something like what looks like that from above. And looking at this, we should have something that looks just like this for the uh, first uh, layer, basically layer three. And uh, with that, we'll move on to layers one and two, which will basically involve us kind of getting um, underneath the aircraft and working a little bit on the fuselage there and um, everything like that. So with that, let's go and move on to layers one and two. All right, guys, so moving on to layers one uh, through two. Uh, these two layers are really simple, and layer one's probably gonna be your easiest layer you've ever done in a tutorial. So to start off with, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves narrow brick slabs. We wanna go ahead and go to the first row three of black wool. That's after this these, this row two of light gray stained glass. So this uh, first row three here, we're gonna place down a row three of narrow brick top slabs underneath that row. We then wanna place down a second row of three, followed by a third row, a fourth row, a fifth row, and after that fifth row, we're going to place down one narrow brick top slab on the back there, going toward the rear, like so. After that's all finished like that, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves another brick fence post. We're going to place it down coming down from the uh, last, the, or basically the second, like gray stained glass block, so it kind of sticks down like that. And on the bottom of this fence post, moving on to layer one, very simply, we're going to place down an iron trap door on the bottom of the fence post, followed by one iron trap door going toward the front, just like that. As I said, probably the easiest uh, little layer you've ever done for uh, layer one. Anyways, that right there is going to do it for layers one for two. With that, let's move on to layer four. All right, guys, so we've done to layer four. Now, for the most part, this build is pretty much symmetrical. However, we do have one bit that is asymmetrical, and I'll talk about this here in a second. To go ahead and get started, though, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down two light gray stained glass blocks here, one on top of this narrow brick top slab, and one also on top of this light gray stained glass full block from the previous layer. This right here is where it starts to get a little asymmetrical. On the left side, we're going to place down two mossy cobblestone walls next to these two light gray stained glass blocks. Over here on the right side, we're going to place down a light gray stained glass pane coming off the side of this first light gray stained glass full block, and then a mossy cobblestone wall coming off the second light gray stained glass full block. So uh, just make sure that it's different on both sides here. You should have something that looks like this from up above. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and get to you back to our normal kind of uh, half on, half off. It's pretty much completely symmetrical from here on out. So back from these mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 green stain clay blocks back. We're then going to take our black wool, place down 1, 2, 3, uh, and 4 black wool blocks back. We then want to go ahead and go to this snare brick top slab here in the middle. So kind of like diagonal from these two black wool blocks. In the middle here, we're going to place down two black wool blocks back with mossy cobblestone walls on both sides. We then want to place down, coming off these two black wool blocks in the middle, we're going to place down a row of four of black wool going back. We're going to grab ourselves some uh, uh, dark oakwood slabs. We're going to place down one, two, three, and four dark oakwood slabs going back. And then uh, once you get to this back section here, we're going to place down a row of uh, three here of narrow brick top slabs across. And then we're going to place down our dark oakwood top slab on the very back like so. Once you guys have that all finished, it's time to go ahead and move on to our wings. And just a quick little side note here, is that you'll see these little spruce wood patches here. This is part of the camo, but I'm gonna be covering the camo uh, once we get the actual aircraft done itself. So a little bit easier for us to go and add it on then. So uh, if you're wondering why we're kind of skipping over that, that is why. Anyways, uh, to go ahead and uh, continue on, we're gonna go ahead and go to this iron trap door right here. We're gonna place down a dark oakwood slab on top of it, followed by a dark oakwood, uh, we're gonna need a dark oakwood stair, a dark oakwood stair after like this, and then a green stink weight block. After that green stain clay block, we're going to place down one, two, and three black wool blocks, followed by a, a dark oak wood top slab. After that's all complete there, that's going to do for your first row, your wings here connecting up. We're then going to place down a dark oak wood slab on top of this iron trap door here. Uh, coming off this green stain clay block, we're also going to place down another dark oak wood stair, like um, facing this direction, like so. So you have a little bit of a corner here, a little bit of a curve. After that, we're going to place down three black wool blocks, come off the back of the stair, and again, a dark oak with top slab going ahead and continuing on for our next row over we're gonna place down a dark oak wood stair coming off this one right here at a corner followed by a dark oak wood slab coming off the stair like so on top of that iron trap door uh coming off the corner stair itself we're gonna place down a um green stankway block followed by one and two black wool blocks going toward the front and then a narrow dark oak with top slab so you have something that kind of looks like this so far for it after we have that done come off this uh this uh green stain clay block we're gonna place down a dark oak wood stair like this 
fall by two dark oak wood slabs going back toward the rear. We're then going to go ahead and place down green stankway blocks after this dark oak wood stair. So we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five. Green stinkway blocks going toward the front. We're going to grab ourselves a wooden trap door. Place down a wooden trap door like that to the side. After that, continuing on to our next row over. Uh, we're going to place down an air dark oak wood slab on top of this iron trap door. Followed by one more going forward. Dark oak wood stair like this. So we turn this stair into a corner stair. We're then going to take green stinkway blocks. Place down one, two, three, four, and five. After that, we're then going to grab ourselves a cobblestone wall. Place down a cobblestone wall. Followed by a black wool block. And coming off the black hole block, we're also going to place down a wither skeleton skull, just like that. After uh, that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and continue on. So for our next uh, layer out to the side, we're going to go ahead and place down another dark oakwood stair coming off this one right here. This time, we're only going to place down one dark oakwood slab coming off of it. We're then going to take our green stinkway blocks, place down one, two, three, four, and five along the sides here. Followed by, again, a wooden trap door on uh, these two spruce wood uh, ups and down stairs on both sides like that. And uh, you can see you kind of have your engines formed up now. And we're going to continue uh, working our way out to the sides here. So for our next uh, section here, we're going to place down a nether brick top slab that's coming off this dark oak with tops or dark, dark oak with half slab. So just like that. We then want to place down a row of one, two, one, two, and three black wool blocks followed by a nether, nether brick top slab just like that. After we have that done, we're going to place down a upside down uh dark nether, nether brick stair let me go and grab one real quick coming off the center black wool block right here followed by another brick top or basically two nether brick top slabs on both sides of that upside down stair after that's all complete we're going to place down a row of five of nether brick top slabs coming off of this row of five right here and after we have that all complete we're then going to go and grab ourselves some iron trap doors we're going to place down a row of one two three and four leaving an indent in the front here and then we want to place down three rows of two coming off these two right here so one two and three just like that out to the sides and when you have that all done you should have something that looks like this from like uh, basically like this from both sides and uh, ignore the little spruce wood uh section right there we'll obviously uh, be you know, putting the cam on a little bit later but that's how you got to do it for that and that right there guys is going to do it for layer number uh four and with that let's move on to uh adding our propellers on Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to adding our propellers on, we've got a pretty simple design that we've been using for a lot of our aircraft recently, um, so pretty nice and should uh, look good. So just, uh, to do our propellers, it's pretty simple, we're going to start off by going to this black wool block right here, we're going to place down a row of one and two narrow brick top slabs coming off of it, followed by a stone top, or sandstone top slab after that. Once you have that done, we're going to grab ourselves narrow brick stairs, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair coming off this uh, black wool block here at about an angle, a little bit of an angle like that. We're going to go and go uh, up from the stair, one, and then basically at an angle, going toward the middle, or basically the fuselage of the aircraft like that, continuing up, and then coming off this narrow brick stair again, we're going to place down a sandstone slab. So we get something that kind of looks like that. After that's all done right there, for the bottom uh, blade, this is a three uh, kind of bladed propeller here. We're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a uh, nether brick upside down stair on the bottom of this black wool block. Uh, coming off this stair at a bit of an angle, we're going to place down a nether, nether brick stair, this time phase Kind of like that so you have a nice little angle here and then we're going to place down a sandstone uh up sandstone stair on the bottom of that narrow brick stair so you get something that kind of looks like this for uh your propeller we're going to do the same thing over here i'm going to do it a little bit more quickly since uh, we've already kind of um you know gone over it so uh it's just the same thing over here on this side your narrow brick stairs going up at an angle here narrow brick slab or sandstone slab on the bottom here same kind of thing just like this going down and a sandstone up sound stair. So you get something that kind of looks like this and uh, we'll kind of uh, form up your propellers there and everything like that. Anyways guys, that's going to do it for our propellers. Let's move on to our next layer, layer 5. Alright guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer 5. So for layer 5, uh, before we go ahead and get into it, we will need to create some banners. Now if you guys are interested in trying to mimic like the RAF logo I tried to create here with banners on the side, uh, then I'm going to show you guys how to create the first part of this uh, kind of symbol here of banners. If you guys are wanting to put letters on the side of your aircraft, kind of how I did here, I have linked the tutorial on how to make the exact same kind of letters uh, down in the description below. And it has all the different le letters as well. So you guys can go ahead and choose between the letters and kind of figure out what you guys want to add there. Um, I just don't want to spend you know time doing it when uh, you guys can obviously decide to use your own letters and everything like that. So to go ahead and make the RAF logo, it's really simple. We're going to need a white banner, obviously a crafting table, lapis lazuli, and bone meal. 
Um, actually, I don't even think we'll need bone meal, to be honest. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a white banner in here. We're going to place down a border of lapis lazuli all the way around it so we get something that looks like this. We're going to go ahead and grab it, put the banner back in here, and then we're going to place down a lapis lazuli block here um, to the right of it. So we create a banner that looks like this. Uh, we're going to need to go ahead and actually grab ourselves another banner. Um, should have grabbed this a little bit earlier, but whatever. We're going to grab ourselves another banner, and we're going to do pretty much the same thing, except we're going to go and flip the side that we placed down this blue square. So we have our another border right here, and this time we're going to place down the square here to the uh, left side down here on the angle to create a, another uh, banner that looks something like that. So you should get two banners that look like this. They have a little blue um, corner there and that's pretty much that so uh, we'll be putting those on in a second but I just want to go in real quickly show you guys how to uh, make those banners for layer 5 all right so moving on into actually doing layer 5 so we have our banners out of the way now it's time to go ahead and actually work on this layer so to get started here we're going to go ahead and, uh, place down a light gray stained glass pane on top of this light gray stained glass full block from the previous layer up here in the front nose uh, we're then going to place down a row of what is going to be four light gray stained glass full blocks back like that to the sides of this row of four here, we're going to go ahead and place down, or actually to the side of this first pane right up here on the sides, on top of this pane right here, or the mossy cobblestone wall, depending on which side you're on. We're going to go ahead and place down a uh, wither skeleton skull like that on both sides. After that's done, uh, we're going to place down a row of two of light gray stained glass panes along the side, these two um, light gray stained glass full blocks. And then we're going to place down uh, two light gray stained glass full blocks, come out these two like that, to create two basically rows of three of light gray stained glass full blocks to fill that space in. After that's done, after this row of two here of light gray stained glass full blocks on this side, we're going to go and take our green stained clay and place a row toward the back. So we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve back. You can see right here, I do have some black wool here. I mix some black wool into the camo and um, all that stuff, which again, something that I'll kind of cover into cover when I actually get to the camouflage um, bits and pieces. But we do want a black underbelly kind of thoroughly for how we have it uh but for both sections here if you just want this in green we're gonna put green on both sides um so probably be better i kind of show that now i just didn't want to break the uh break the side here but we already kind of did so anyways uh that's kind of that for right there and um we got our banners and all that stuff so after that after this row of green stain clay here we want to go ahead and take our mossy cobblestone walls we're gonna place down a row of one two three four five and six Mossy cobblestone walls back from this row of three on the sides. And after we have that done, we're going to go and place down a row of uh, six here of green stain clay in between the mossy cobblestone walls. On top of this uh, dark oak with top slab on the end here, we're going to place down a stone slab full block, followed by a stone brick upside down stair coming off of it like that. And that's going to do it here for the main kind of fuselage bit. If you guys are wondering that I had the RAF logo on, it's uh, pretty simple. We're just going to be adding it to uh, basically this section right in here so pretty simple uh what we want to do is we want to go ahead and do it right before we get to these cobblestone walls so we don't really want it on the cobblestone walls we want it right before it so we're going to go ahead and go to the, these two green stain clay blocks so the second and third uh from last in this row right here we're going to go to place down a banner right here and we're going to go ahead and need to grab our other banner and place down a banner like that so you want to make sure that you have it so that the corners here are on opposite sides from each other and it kind of creates a little bit of a circular somewhat kind of shape right there um just like that so that's going to kind of do it there for the banners for uh this section and we'll have banners on the next layer which will kind of uh fill in and make it look a little bit more like it and the same thing will be done over here on this side um the good thing about these banners is that they are uh you don't need to make any different versions of it uh you can just use them on the other side just they'll however be flipped so you have to kind of flip them and you can again kind of see that we created the logo there with relative ease and let me just move it over one so just like that pretty simple overall for the banners and that's how you guys go ahead and um make the banners there on the side there and get that done now move on to the wings themselves uh it's going to be a little bit more involved we got a little bit more uh work to do on the wings and uh all that stuff so let's go ahead and get started now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start off by taking some um, green uh carpet we're gonna place down a row on top of these dark oak with top slabs after that row right there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves dark liquid slabs. We're going to go back from the first green carpet, one and two slabs, followed by a green carpet on top of that black wall right there. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to the next green carpet over, place down a dark liquid slab, and two green carpets back. After that's done, go to the next, go over to the next carpet, one dark liquid slab back, and another green carpet on top of that black wall block. 
After that's all finished there, we have our engines to work on. So uh, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start by going to the front up here. We're going to go ahead and go on top of that wooden trap door. We're going to place down a spruce wood stair like this. Fall by a row of two or row three of uh, what is going to be dark oak wood stairs. Go back. So one, two, and three. And uh, yeah, actually, sorry, two and then a corner stair. Just like that. Dark oak wood stairs. We're going to grab ourselves a sign and place it down on the middle. Dark oak wood stair like that. After our dark oak wood corner stair, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab back. And we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a zombie head and place down a zombie head at about a 45-ish degree angle uh, back from it like so. After that's done like that, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab on top of that green stankway block uh, next to the zombie head, followed by a dark oak wood stair. We're going to place down a row of one, two, and three green stankway blocks. And then we just want to place down a dark or a spruce wood top side from off that row three of green stankway. After that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a... Spruce wood stair, place it down on top of this wooden trap door. Go back from the spruce wood stair and place down one, two dark oak wood stairs, a dark oak wood corner stair. Again, a sign on the middle dark oak wood uh, stair. And then we just want to place down a dark oak wood slab back from that corner stair, like so. Um, after that's all complete, there we're going to grab ourselves a zombie head. We're going to place down a zombie head about a 45 ish degree angle on both sides of this dark oak wood slab, like so. After that's all uh, done there, we want to go ahead and go back and grab ourselves our dark oak wood slabs again. We're going to place down a dark oak wood slab kind of off this slab right here. And then we're going to place down one more back. We're going to grab ourselves a green carpet. And we're going to place down a green carpet on top of this narrow brick top slab. And the black wool block and this narrow brick top slab on the back there like that. After that's all finished there, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing again. So narrow row of two of dark oak wood slabs. Green carpet on the front and two on the back. Go ahead and go into our next row over. Green carpet to the right uh three dark oak wood slabs back and then a green carpet like so after that's all done right there for our next row over we're gonna just place down a row of three of dark oak wood slabs we can have a little bit of an indent here from the front and we also want to place down a narrow iron trap door on top of this one right here after that's finished we're gonna grab ourselves a uh some more dark oak wood slabs we're gonna place down one and two like this going back followed by a stone slab after it we're gonna go and do this uh two more times so two dark oak wood slabs uh, sand uh, stone slab and two darker slabs and a stone slab just like that after that's all complete there we're gonna grab ourselves narrow brick uh, slabs again we're gonna go and place down a row or basically two uh, narrow brick top slabs from off those two dark oak wood slabs right there and they're gonna place down a sandstone or sorry a stone top slab like that after that's done right there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves narrow brick slabs again. We're going to place down one coming off this one up here in the front, followed by a stone um, top slab after that. And then we're just going to place down two narrow brick top slabs on the end there to kind of finish that off. Looking at it from above, we should have something that kind of looks like this so far for the wings. And uh, once we have that all sorted out and uh, confirmed, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer six. All right, guys. Uh, so before we go ahead and move on to our next layer, which is obviously going to be uh, layer uh, number six uh, we're gonna be going ahead and continuing our work on the banners now as I mentioned before we do have an air section of banners we need to put on top of this section right here so I'm going to show you guys how to make those real quick and they're really simple so just like we did before we're gonna go ahead and place down a white banner in a crafting table we're gonna go and take our lapis lazuli place a uh, full kind of uh, border around it like so where they're gonna go ahead and place down a lapis lazuli uh, just one up here in the top left hand corner we're gonna go ahead and grab it uh, the banner and then place down a rose red um basically you know material here in the opposite corner from it so you get a, something that kind of looks like that we're gonna go ahead and grab that banner and that's going to do it for our first banner next banner we're going to basically do the opposite of this so we're going to go ahead and just uh place our lapis lazuli all the way around we have a nice white or blue border around that we're going to place down one lapis lazuli up here in the uh, right hand corner grab our banner place it back and then a rose red here in the bottom left corner we're going to grab our banner and we now have our two banners uh, just like this. Uh, we're going to be putting these in uh, a little bit later, uh, but I just want to show you guys again how to get those banners set up because in the end, it'll look something like this on the side here. Anyways, uh, that's going to do it for our banners. Let's go ahead and move on to layer six. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer six. For layer six, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a light gray stained glass pane on top of this light gray stained glass full block. So right after this glass pane right here, just a light gray stained glass pane on top of the light gray stained glass full block. Uh, after the light gray stained glass paint, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four light gray stained glass full blocks. And on the sides of these uh, three light gray stained glass full blocks of the first three, we're going to place down three light gray stained glass panes. We also want to place down a wither skeleton skull on top of this glass pane here. 
from the previous layer on both sides like that of this light gray stained glass pane like so for the front there. After that's all done there, we're going to go back from this uh, row of four here of light gray stained glass panes, or sorry, full blocks. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six green stained gray blocks, followed by a row of two of light gray stained glass blocks, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine green stained gray blocks back, followed by two stone slab blocks back with a stone bun on the end here. One quick thing is we actually want to go ahead and place down signs on the sides here, these two stone slabs, and also from the previous layer, we do want to place down a sign next to that stone slab as well. After that's all done right there, we are going to go ahead and go back up to the carpet here, um, go to basically after these like racing west panes on the side here, we're going to place down a dark liquid stair on the side here, and we want to place down a good long row of uh, dark liquid stairs back. So we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven dark liquid stairs back where they're going to place down a dark liquid corner stair coming off this stair right here on the other side uh, basically after this corner stair we're going to place down another stair facing this direction and then fall by uh another dark liquid stair after it like so to go ahead and um turn this stair into a corner stair so you have something that looks like this after that's all done right there we're going to grab ourselves mossy cobblestone walls we're going to place down one two three four five back we're then going to grab ourselves another brick uh slabs we're going to place down a row of one two three four and uh yep just four no brick top slabs out to the side we then want to place down a second row after that this is going to be a row of six of no brick top slabs out to the side we're going to grab ourselves stone slabs we're going to place down one two three four five and six stone slabs out to the side we're going to skip this space right here obviously we can't put anything there with the sign there but we're going to place down then two stone slabs um coming off of it um like so for the back there and those are going to kind of do it for your uh elevators and uh your horizontal stabilizers we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves our banners again. So we have our banners we created the right before we started this layer. We're going to place down the banner like this and also like that on both sides. So it should kind of overlap from the banners from the previous layer. And it should kind of create somewhat of a looking British kind of Randall. Um, it's obviously not perfect. It's a little bit elongated going upward. But uh, it kind of works and kind of gets the point across to what we're trying to create there. So that's basically how you go ahead and make the Randall pretty simple uh, with banners and everything like that. Uh, we then have a little bit of work left to do on the wings. It's pretty brief stuff, nothing too um, crazy whatsoever. So we're going to need some carpet, wooden trap doors, dark oak wood slabs, nothing we haven't been really using, and some zombie heads again. So to start off with, we're going to go to the engines. We're going to place down a dark oak wood slab on top of this green stinkway block. Going back from this dark oak wood uh, slab here, we're going to place down a zombie head. And coming off both sides of the zombie head, we're going to place down a wooden trap door on both sides, just like that. Uh, lastly, all we need to do now is take green carpet, place down green carpet on top of these uh, an Arabic top slabs on the very end of the wing just like that to kind of keep uh, that green consistent color from up above and once you guys have that all complete that is going to do it for uh, layer uh, number six with that let's go ahead and move on to layer seven all right guys we've on to our next layer we have layer seven we're almost done with the fuselage basically the well I should say the aircraft really all together uh, which is going to be great after we finish the aircraft I'm going to be showing you guys how to put the camouflage on so if you guys are interested then you guys can uh, obviously add the camo pattern on and all that fun stuff, which definitely looks good with having. Um, so um, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, get started with layer seven. So for layer seven, we've pretty much completed the front. There's nothing left for us to do except start to work on some of the back and midsection stuff. So for this, we're going to start off by placing down a dark oak wood fence post that's going to be on the third green stink plate block back from this row of four here, like racing was full blocks. After that dark oak wood fence post, we're going to place down, or we're, we're going to go back here to these two green, uh, these uh, two uh, light gray um, stained glass blocks. And we're going to place down an anvil on top of the one that's kind of more toward the back with a uh, little uh, end rod coming off like that for the machine gun. We then also want to place down a light gray stained glass block behind the anvil like so. And we're going to place down a light gray stained glass paint coming off the light gray stained glass block and also come off the side of the anvil to start to create your uh, dorsal gunner. After that, we're going to skip uh, a space back from the ant from the end rod, and we're going to place down an iron bar, which will be part of this uh, cabling that kind of runs up and connects up to the top there, which we'll get to you kind of separately and work on that, on that also. Um, after we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down, or we're going to go ahead and skip a space of three, go and basically line with the horizontal start of the horizontal stabilizers with these narrow brick top slabs. We're going to place down a green stankway block, followed by two more back after it, so you have a nice row of three here. Uh, we then want also want to place down a stone button on both sides of the third green stinkway block back. 
We then want to grab signs. We're to place down two signs on the side of these smooth sandstone blocks. Or smooth. Or sorry, my bad. Uh, stone slab blocks. And then a stone button on the end there like so. And uh, we also want to grab green carpet. And we're going to place down green carpet on top of all these narrow brick top slabs here for the horizontal stabilizers. After that's all done there, that's going to do it for layer 7. We only have a few layers left, which is going to basically be layers 8, 9, 10, and 11. So we're going to go ahead and move on to those final layers all together. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and move on to layers uh, 9 through 11. All right, guys. So going ahead and moving on to our next set of layers. We have layers 8 through 11. So for these layers, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the top here of the turret right here. We want to go ahead and grab ourselves some nether brick uh, slabs. So we can go ahead and head over here. Nether brick slabs, and we're also going to need um, we're also going to need some wither skeleton skulls. So for this, we're going to place down two dark liquid slabs, one on top of the anvil, and also one on top of this like great stained glass block. We also want to grab our wither skeleton skulls, and we're going to place down wither skeleton skulls on these like great uh, these like great stained glass paints at about 45-ish degree angles to show a little bit of curvature to the turret and the top here. Um, so should be something that kind of looks like that for the top there of the turret, and that's going to kind of do it for that. We also want to go and grab ourselves a dark oakwood fence post. We're going to place down one more going up from this like so to continue that on. Also from this iron bar right here, we're going to go and place down one iron bar here. Kind of comes up and at an angle from this one right here. And later on, that'll connect to, that'll kind of semi-connect up to our line that we're going to be placing um, in our next section of the tutorial. Once we get back here to this, uh, we're going to go and continue working on our vertical stabilizer slash rudder. We're going to place down a dark oak wood stair on top of this green stink weight block here. Two green stink weight blocks back from that dark oak wood stair. We're then going to place down a stone button on both sides of that second green stink weight block. Uh, we then grab, want to grab our still stone slabs. We're going to place down two stone slabs back, followed by two wooden trap doors along the side here, and a stone button on the end. We're going to go and do the same thing over here, just like that for your rudder. After that's all complete there, we then want to go and place down a green stink wave block on top of this one right here, followed by two black wool blocks back. We're going to place down a stone button on both sides of the first black wool block and a sign on both sides of the second black wool block. After that, we're also going to go and place down um, a mossy cobblestone wall coming off this uh, black wool block like this. And we also want to actually go ahead and break this stone slab full block and we're actually going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall in this place. Continuing on, we're going to place down a dark wood stair on top of this green stink wave block. Uh, right here in the front, followed by a green stink wave block behind the stair, stone button on both sides, and a stone slab uh, full block going back with, again, a sign on both sides of the stone slab full block. Um, after that's done, we're going to place down there dark liquid stair on top of this green stink wave block here on the top, and also a stone brick stair on top of the stone slab full block. So you get something that kind of looks like that for the back tail. Once you guys have that all done, that's going to do it for layers 8 through 11. What we're going to move on to next is actually the uh, kind of like the rigging here, the cables and all that kind of stuff that run throughout the uh, aircraft. And after we have that done, we'll then move on to the camo and finish the build off. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to adding on the rigging. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to putting the cables on, it's overall pretty simple how to do it and is nothing too crazy really. So to start off with, we're going to go ahead and you can see I have the wool here kind of representing the white wool representing exactly where we're placing these cables. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off by placing down an iron bar on top of this uh, dark, this row two here of dark liquid, or I should say a column of uh, two of dark liquid um, fence gates. We're going to place down an iron bar on top of it. We're going to go ahead and go back from the iron bar. One, two, three, four, five, and six more iron bars back. So you get something that kind of looks like this. We then want to go ahead and go up and back at an angle. Place down one, two, three, four, five, and six iron bars after that, and it should connect up to this dark oak wood stair down on the top, but on the layer right below that. So you have something that looks like this just from the side here for the cables. After that's all finished there, we're then gonna go ahead and go to our lines here that run and connect up from the fuselage to the uh, vertical stabilizers. So for these, uh, very simple, we're gonna go ahead and start off by going to this last black hole block right before these two mossy cobblestone walls from. I believe this is back at like layer four-ish. Uh, we're gonna place down an iron bar coming off that uh, black wool block, and if you went ahead and put the British kind of Randall on, it will kind of come out from that. Um, after that, we're gonna go and go from this. We're gonna go ahead and go over at an angle and toward the back. Place down an iron bar like this. We're gonna go ahead and go up, back, and at an angle. Place down an iron bar, and we're gonna place down a second one after it. We're gonna do the same thing again, up and out to an angle, and toward the back. We're gonna place down another iron bar like this going back and we then want to go ahead and grab us an iron bar and just place it down come off this nerve top set on the end there we're gonna take that same design flip it over to the air side and have it go that way and you'll have this uh 
iron bar kind of trail here going on both sides just like that. After that's done, you have the cables finished. It's time to go ahead and cover how to put the camo on and kind of spice up the uh, build a little bit more. All right, so the last thing we're going to cover in this tutorial is how to put the camo on. Now, uh, the camo itself is overall really simple and is something that you guys can easily do. I'm not going to be covering a full block by block on how to exactly replicate the camo I did over here for this version, um, but I will be showing you guys kind of an example of how I went about doing it. And it's uh, really simple and is nothing too complex, uh, that's for sure. So uh, to go ahead and get started, we're going to be using some spruce wood planks to add a nice kind of brown tone. It's not super dark, but it has a nice kind of light color to it that kind of stands out and adds a nice little touch to it. Um, we also do have a little bit of patch, which uh, the camo I'm kind of basing this off of. It had like a nice little big splotch of black that kind of ran up here and wrapped around. And uh, you can kind of see over here on my version, I have the, the black and the banners are black as well. So if you're just keeping this section green or whatever, you're going to want to use green banners on the back here for your letters. Um, so that stuff's just a quick little, you know, uh, reminder and all that stuff. Whatever, whatever blocks you're placing your banners on, you want them to kind of replicate. Um, a good little technique also would be maybe, maybe to do half the banner green and half of it um, black because you're going to have the banner kind of hanging over the black section too. So just keep in mind what blocks the banner is going to be covering and make sure you kind of cover that up as well and kind of replicate that color kind of consistently through it. Anyways, uh, to get started here, uh, all we're going to do is just take some um, spruce wood planks and we just want to go ahead and create a nice kind of wrap around type feel to it. Uh, we don't want to make sure it's like too drastic or anything, but we want to make sure it's nice and kind of like a smooth, um, smooth wrap around. Um, it's basically what all we're doing here for the camouflage and it's going to kind of come here on this side. So you can see the same kind of uh, cover is going all the way across here, kind of wrapping itself around. Um, we also do not want to place, replace any black wool blocks. Um, that's very important. That's our underbelly kind of tone, so we don't want to really touch that. Um, then we can get to the wings here. We can place down some colors in the wings. Uh, one thing also is the black blocks that we have, the green carpets covering. Uh, they are visible from the bottom. We want to make sure that that color stays green or stays uh, black and consistent. So make sure that you go ahead and obviously uh, do not replace these green stink wave blocks. Uh, but we can replace these stairs um as well uh we can just kind of you know kind of create this blotch kind of come in here and a little technique to kind of continue that brown kind of color camo is we can go ahead and place down wooden trap doors instead of those carpets they uh you know kind of keep that color going a little bit so we can have something that kind of looks like that and it kind of cover goes into the wing and kind of continues on obviously you can have little splotches in the wings as well um little kind of like you know different patterns and stuff like this um, I highly recommend you just kind of experimenting, seeing what you like to, what you kind of like with uh, the camo pattern, and just kind of go crazy with it. Um, try not to copy exactly what I'm doing. I'm just trying to give you guys kind of ideas on how to do it. But uh, obviously, you guys could copy it if you want to. Um, keep placing the full block, but stare. I'm, I'm crazy. I'm talking, not paying attention to what I'm actually doing. And we also can put a little bit of uh, brown here on the tip of the wing as well. Um, just kind of, you know, putting it around real nicely something like that so the kind of like the wing there um going back to this, this section here we can obviously fit in some more brown kind of in this section and if we had like some brown on the wing here we would kind of continue this over um so probably you know something kind of like this have it kind of curve over connect over to this side come down this side as well or something like that and we'll have a little bit more of brown coming through it and also we don't want to forget this section up here in the front Maybe just have like a little bit of brown kind of come down the angle this way um, and all that stuff. We do want to keep it, you know, for the most part, maybe about a 50-50 split or most likely probably like a 25-75 ratio of brown to green. Uh, back here in this section, this is what I was kind of talking about earlier. I went ahead and I placed down some black wool. Uh, we're going to kind of break our have to break our banners here to place them. But I kind of put some black wool here mixed in and um, also uh, went ahead and grabbed some nether brick stairs and put some Arabic stairs up here with these dark liquid stairs to kind of replace it. Um, you'll see, you know, it kind of has a little block, black splotch to it. You can even put some black up here on the top as well. Uh, but I did see in the camo, I'm kind of replicating a nice big black splotch that kind of came in this section right here. So uh, you can replicate that. Obviously, you don't have to whatsoever. And of course, on the tail here, we're going to do the same thing. So just, uh, you know, adding a little bit of um, these stairs kind of mixed into it and have them kind of flow down here. We even have these dark liquid slabs back here. We can have switch over to a little bit of a spruce wood look as well just kind of continue that kind of overall camo uh type theme to it 
Uh, but overall, this is kind of a general idea on how you guys can do the camo. Obviously, you can switch it up as much as you guys want. Remember, any block blocks you break or anything like that, if they have a stone button on it or a sign or anything, make sure you guys go back and, and fix it. Very important that you guys do so because it's going to, you know, take out some of the details and stuff. So uh, make sure you guys go back, replace any things that may have been on, attached to blocks that fell off when breaking them. And uh, you guys will be pretty much good to go for the Bristol Blenheim Mark 1 um, with the design for it and also the camouflage. Anyways, guys, hope you guys did enjoy this build. Again, a special thanks to Brick Bros 2016 for making this video possible. And again, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. And uh, feel free to donate if you guys are uh, willing to. Other than that, guys, uh, this is going to do it for this tutorial. If you guys do use this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This main thing from a sign of the build to my channel or this video if this does appear in social media sites. Just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for in doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it gets used to keep me inspired to keep on posting these types of videos. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. And that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 204, and I'll see you guys next time.